welcome to another GCSE economics video with me, Mr. Goff, for MrGoff.com. This video will focus on analysing past inflation rates and understanding the causes of inflation. This graph shows the UK inflation rate for the last 10 years. For the majority of the period, inflation has been in the government's target zone of 1 to 3%. At the end of the period, inflation had become very high reaching around 10%. When inflation is at any value over 0%, prices are rising. The rate of inflation shows the speed at which prices are rising. When it's within the target zone of 1 to 3%, this will be small manageable price rises. When it reaches levels such as 10%, there can be very sharp shocks to the cost of living for many households. There are two primary drivers of inflation demand pull inflation and cost push inflation. We're going to take a look at each of these in more detail now. Excess demand may not sound like it would be a problem for an economy. However, if supply cannot rise to meet excess demand, then we will see demand pull inflation. It's more likely to happen when the economy is near full employment. This is because it's hard for firms to get the extra employees they might need to increase their supply. Cost push inflation happens because as costs rise, firms are less prepared to supply goods and services at each price point. Costs can go up because of increasing prices for raw materials or expenses like fuel and power. The recent war in Ukraine has caused massive increases in prices for gas, oil, and grains. This has led to firms having to pass on those costs in the form of higher prices. For most firms, wages are their biggest expense. In times of high inflation, the wage price spiral may take hold. The wage price spiral works like this. First, there is a rise in the general level of prices. This means the cost of living has gone up for workers. They demand higher wages. When firms have to pay these higher wages, it increases their costs. They respond by raising their prices. And you can see we have a vicious cycle here, which can continue to go on, creating more and more inflation. If it's not brought under control, the wage price spiral can have serious negative consequences for an economy. That brings us to the end of this video where we've analysed past inflation rates and looked at the causes of inflation. Join me in the next video when we'll be evaluating the consequences of inflation for individuals. Try the resources at mrgoff.com to help you revise economics. And until next time, it's bye for now.